welcome back to Phil's Drone Zone. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that bell so we can stay updated when I upload future videos. Okay, so today we are going to be looking at how to create the um, animated um, SMS text phone hologram. And we're going to do that in Keynote with no additional software needed and no additional plugins. So let's get on and let's start by just building a phone. Okay, we're just gonna use the shapes and we'll use this rounded rectangle and we'll just drag that out until we've got a phone shape. And then what we're gonna do is take away the fill, add a line and increase the um, amount, the scale of the line. Then we'll duplicate it, add a fill, change the color to an off-white and then just reduce and center to fit it. I'm just having a look. Maybe I'm just gonna take that down one more point. Um, and yep, there we got the beginnings of a phone. Now what I'm going to do is go to, um, I'm going to import a PNG of a phone keyboard that I found online. And we're just gonna position that and drag that out until it fits inside the phone nicely. Okay, but the edges are overlapping, so the border we created I'll bring to the front, and now that takes away the edges um, of that um, keyboard. Now, to make it more authentic, we're going to go and download, or import, sorry, our logo. As often, you find the logo up in the corner of your messenger or your picture or whatever it happens to be. And then we'll add the camera and we'll pop a camera in, which you normally find. And then we're going to go and shapes again. We're going to find a pen. Um, we might find that in education, I guess. Um, yep, there we are. So we'll drag that pen in, resize it, and we'll move that up next to the camera. Go to arrange and then just change the angle so that it looks a little bit more realistic. Okay, so looking good. And we, last thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back, find our rounded rectangle, stretch that out a little bit and make it a little bit thinner. We're then going to go to style, color fill to match the background. And then we're going to add a border and make that quite small. I'm going to drag that up and fit center it and then we're going to fit it um, and place it in the position that we want it to be. Now we're going to add a magnifying glass. Um, this I found a little bit fiddly and you may have to fiddle around with this a little bit. And so we just resize our circle outline. We'll zoom in a little bit. It pays to zoom in as much as you can. And then I'm going to just fiddle about till I've got that as I want it. We'll make the outline a little thinner. We'll drag in a line and we'll resize the line. And now this is where I had to fiddle about for a little while um, to get this to match up to the circle in the way that I wanted it to. It was quite tricky, but if you just fiddle about, resize the circle as well as the line and that will help. So we're gonna, mag we're gonna zoom in again. Um, we're gonna resize the psych the circle now. I think that's probably the best way to make this fit. And we'll just resize the circle. And there you go. Now we've got what we want. Now we'll group those two things together. Right click and group. Let's position it and I'm just going to scale it down a little bit, holding shift and option to keep the um, proportions. Now I'm going to add a text and we'll drag that text up into that rounded rectangle and we're just going to type in search into the text box. We'll click out of that and then we will position that um, to where it looks um, authentic on the phone. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to fit to um, the slide and that's part one done. We've built our phone. But now we need to um, just select all and then right click and group. 
So now we can move our phone around as one, because it's all now one group. Okay, so now um, I'm going to add, if you're working in iMovie, you'll need to do this, add a screenshot of the video that you're going to use. Um, and we're gonna position and resize the phone at this point, because you're not gonna be able to do that very easily in iMovie. So we'll just position it and resize. And then what I'll do now is click on the background and remove the background, remove that picture and then go to the background and select a green, um, green screen color fill. And that's part one done. And all that we need to do now is to add the text to our phone. Now, as you can see, I've got all six text messages already done. To create those is very simple. You just um, create the rounded rectangle that we used previously with a white background. And then you just add a text on top. And then all you have to do is click on the background, click on the text, right click and group them together. You can then duplicate it as many times as you want to. And to change the text, just double click on the text, highlight it, and you can change the text without any problem at all. And so there we go. We've got um, all six done. Two are outside and four are already positioned on the phone itself. To, to animate the first four is very, very simple. All we have to do is we'll click on the first one, go to animate, build in, add an effect, and appear and it's as simple as that and we'll do that for all four of them just simply add an effect appear and once all four are done we can start building them in properly okay once done go to build order we'll go to group after transition and we'll hit the delay at three seconds and just to see that that's working there you go, it just appears after three seconds. For the second one, we're going to do exactly the same. We'll do after build one. You can use with build one at this stage or after build one. Set the delay to two seconds. And we'll do the same for the third. This time I'll use with um, two second delay. And finally after build three two second delay, and that's it. And now those are done. They will just appear on the screen itself. And that's a really simple animation. But now we need to, it gets a little bit more complex and you need to follow a certain pattern. Um, because we have two which are not on the screen. And the, that one we need to disappear. So we're gonna go to build out and make it disappear. Now we'll go down to its start and we'll click on with build 4, set a delay of 2 seconds and that's that done. Now what we need to do is to have this next text message actually moving upwards. So we'll highlight it, go to action, add an effect and move. Now you'll see it gives us a move off to the side and we want to drag that up so that it moves upwards. And so creating that move of the text upwards. For this, we will go to with or after, it doesn't really matter, after build five, we'll set that to 0 0.1 seconds and the duration to 0 0.3. And then for the third one, we need to do exactly the same. We'll go to action, add effect, move. And that will give us exactly the same result. We need to move that out of the way. And then we're just going to position that. Um, and at this point, I made an error and didn't realize it. But it's fairly easy to correct, as we'll see later on. So we'll go to after or with build six. It doesn't matter. This time, the delay to zero. So we wanted to move at exactly the same time as the other one. And we'll do, set the duration to 0 0.3 again. And we need to do the same for this text as well. This needs to move up. Go to action, add an effect, move. And we'll just move that up. And I nearly made the same error here. 
um, but then very quickly realized that that's too high, it needs to move to where the text is there. Okay, so that's pretty much done. We'll just um, set that to with build six, delay of zero, and we'll set the duration to 0.3. And now we need to bring in our next text, but we need to right click and bring to front, and we'll position that where it's going to appear. And yep, we want to make it appear. So we will go to build in, add an effect, appear, and we'll do that after build eight. And we'll set the delay to 0.1 of a second. And there we should have, even though we have a little error, um, we should have a working um, text SMS model where they slide up. And yeah, but you can see that um, one of the groups doesn't um, move to where it should do. So we need to find that group and there it is and bring it down to where it actually should come to rest somewhere about there and that looks pretty good to me and so if we just click preview we'll see that the first four very simple and then they all move up and the next text message arrives so we need to repeat that process for the next text message and bear in mind, uh, wait a minute, we'll just position that, bring to front and position that. But bear in mind that it's now a different message that needs to disappear. It's the second message, which is now at the top, that needs to disappear. So we'll go down here to add action. No, we won't. We're going to disappear. We're going to build out and disappear. And we'll, with build nine, and we'll set the delay to two seconds. So that will disappear two seconds later. And then we will add action for the next text message and we'll move that up again. And we need to create a further move for that one and we'll move it up to the top position. And then what we're going to do, we'll, after build 10, we'll have a delay of 0.1 of a second and we'll set the duration again to 0 0.30. And then with, there's a text message under here that needs to move up. So we'll set the next one. We'll go to add action move. And we will move that up to the second top position. Okay, so that's good. We'll go after after build 11, or you can do with build 11, uh, with build 11 is probably better in this case, and then set the delay zero, duration 30. And we have one more that needs to move. We're always gonna move in threes, so we'll add an effect, move, and we will then position that to where that one needs to go. Okay, so we will set that to with build with build 11 and we will set the duration to 30 and the delay to zero. And then we'll add, finally add our latest text message, go to build in appear, same as before. We'll do that, we can do after build 13 with a delay of 0.1 of a second. And that's it, it's pretty much done. So let's have a just play it back and have a look. And there's still a little problem with that um, third text message. So we need to go and find that again. And I'm not quite sure what it was. So have another look, I'm not quite sure what it was doing. Um, we'll just keep an eye on it. Yeah, it's not moving up far enough first time now. So we'll select it and then go to build one. Yeah, you can see build one doesn't go up high enough. So what we need to do is just move the first build up a little bit to somewhere around about there. And now it will work. So now let's preview it.
And there you go, it's all working very nicely now. Okay, so now let's um, go to, um, we'll resize it to fit the slide. And then we'll preview that just to make sure that it's all working um, and it all looks good enough to export. Yeah, it seems to be working really nicely. Just one more to come in. Yeah, that's working really nicely. So now what we will do, sometimes this, when you export it, this last text message doesn't appear. So just grab the one of the other ones, add an effect on build out and disappear. And then you can set that to after the last build, set it to two or three seconds, and that will mean that you can always trim that off um, before it actually happens. Export as a movie, and then click next, and then give it a name, and export, and we'll see you in Final Cut Pro. Now in Final Cut Pro, I've just put my bottom video in there, my main video at the bottom, and then I've um, imported <coughs> the um, phone, so then I've added a glow to it, and I've set the opacity to 40%. I then um, blade at the first, um, after the first 20 frames and I keyframed it on scale and position so that the foe, so that it would appear um, out of the phone to its final position. Um, and then I added um, some bad TV to that piece of the clip. Um, the only thing I did to that was to change it to TV static. That seemed to work quite nicely. Um, I then added a freeze frame at the end of a second and then I did the same process with the phone that I did at the beginning only in reverse and I keyframed the whole process where it, in reverse where it disappears back into the phone. I added nothing has changed, I added the bad TV uh -huh. and that gives you um, a very nice effect. For iMovie, just import it, put it on top of your main clip and get rid of the green screen and then try different effects. I found that Dreamy worked quite nicely. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click the bell um, so that you can be updated when we upload future videos um, with showcasing some tips and tricks that you can try yourself. All that remains to be said now is see you in the next video.